everyone, welcome back to an update. You're gonna have to excuse me, because I'm probably gonna eventually get kind of sweaty on my forehead, because it is hot as hell here in Missouri. And, well, I, I am a man! Okay, I had to do that, but anyway, um... Uh, <clears throat> So anyway, with that aside, uh, first thing is just a little general news. Um, I am working on to, um, a little, some, <clears throat> I'm working on a few reviews. Obviously, first impressions keep on going, rolling, rolling, rolling. Another update video has been kind of slow, and because I've been busy. Um, obviously, let's plays keep going. Um, Drake and God may become a little more not everydayish. Because it's getting to the point where I need to get all the weapons. And, well, getting all the weapons takes some time, so... I do have some side let's plays that might run in its place until I get some more footage going for that. So, if you're actually watching the Drake and God let's play, don't be shocked if it temporarily takes a hiatus for a week or two. Uh, hoping only at most one week, though. Uh, in other news, uh, there will be other little Let's Plays going on when Drake and God is finished, and I haven't fully decided what I want to do next, um, but it's a nail. Uh, Persona 4 is going pretty simply so far. Anyway, <clears throat> um, aside from that, the only disconcerting thing going on right now is, well, I did a video of it on the Let's Play channel since that directly was for Let's Plays, basically, since I don't really have copyright issues on my main channel, because I usually don't act like this. But, um, if you get a third party match, and this, this is not affecting everyone, and I'm not, I have not... Like I said in my video, I I was gathering information. I still have not gotten any form of confirmation. My network claims it's a new system being put on YouTube, but I know no one else being affected by it. Any video that has a third paw match, I cannot edit anything. I can't edit the title and save it with a new title or anything. And uh, remote RPGs, Carter. Uh, Sega CD your voice. I think I asked him. I don't remember. I, I asked a few people most of them were able to reply and with a check showing that they did not have this problem So I don't know if anyone actually knows anything about please feel free to let me know I would delightfully like bill resources because if there's anything I've been hating about my network right now. I mean really the communication the support is horrible to be honest. I've I've had to wait like two weeks to get a response from support people on Skype, so I, I'm not trying to be mean, but you know, you, you think you would be a little more responsive a little. I mean I understand them like maybe a week uh, at most, but I, I've been just having horrible like I feel like I'm being ignored really, but um I don't know. I mean, I can understand waiting a week, but it's been like two weeks since I've sent like several, like these concerns that, as far as I'm aware of, not anyone else is suffering this problem that I know of. And I haven't even got a reply about that yet, so. Anywho. New pickups. Lots. Lots of new pickups since I haven't done one in a while. Um, I, I might have three repeats. I don't remember if I showed them last time. So I'm gonna go through these real quick. Well, four repeats. I can't really remember if I showed these off. I think I did, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, Tokabots on the PlayStation 2, originally a PSP game. Mega Man Network Transmission. Guilty Gear X2. And Samurai Western. Uh, I got them all for very uh, cheap. Uh, it was basically a uh, buy one, get one free, and they were all on sale. Actually, if you notice, they were all $2.99 except for uh, Guilty Gear. Which, uh, the price didn't actually matter because, um, well, oh, actually, no, it wasn't a buy one, get one free. It was a buy four for 10 bucks. So, yeah, and since most. Uh, I remember quickly, I looked them up, they all sell for more than 10 bucks on Amazon. That was a good deal. 
uh, for each one sells for more. So, those out of the way. It's time to move on to things I am sure. So, first thing, um, Tales of Zelius has came out. Uh, Zil Zil Zilia? Zilia? Damn it, Japan, make normal names! Okay, no, no, I can't even pronounce normal shit, so. Big shock with it. Anyway, um, if you bought uh, launch copies, uh, you get a music CD, a DLC voucher, and a small art book, which actually I don't. I don't think I've actually even looked through it yet. Um, let's take a little peek. Uh, it's completely paper made, I knew that. Uh, table of contents. What we got here? Got the main uh, male character. And uh, that's something that's kind of interesting about this uh, this particular... Uh, I don't think any Tales game has done this before. Well, there's two main characters you can pick from. Yeah, basically it shows some uh, imagery along with a bunch of face expressions. Now, uh, I have actually uh, starred this for Force Depressions. I'm not too far. I just actually met this guy and got to a town. So, I haven't met anyone else. And, wow, that girl is kind of creepy. <laughs> just that face right there. Just some, some just creepy about it. Let's see what we got. Uh, weird little pink monster. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty creepy, too. Watch it be your pet or something. <laughs> Somebody tell me if that's all pet. It's all pet, ain't it? I'm sorry about my shadow, though. Eh, I like this guy's art style. He looks pretty interesting, actually. He has pretty nice uh, expressions, it looks like. Yeah, looks like he's uh, kind of a gentleman. Probably not. <laughs> oh, I only feel the sweat on my forehead. Now, uh, I haven't opened the music disc. Uh, it seems to contain 12 songs. Not too bad. Much better than the, a few of the Atlas ones I've seen lately. Uh, some of the Atlas ones haven't had too many. Now, I'm going to take this DLC voucher out. Because, obviously, uh, I haven't used it yet. I'm debating about maybe giving it away, maybe. I'm not 100% on that. Damn. Sweaty. Oh my goodness. I'm very sorry about that. It is just really hot. I guess maybe you could say that's no reason. I haven't really been doing videos. And what's sad is it's like 7 o'clock at night now. So, you know, it's all way the sun's down here in Missouri and shit. And it's still freaking hot. And I, I do have air conditioning. It's in my living room, not in my bedroom. But um, I did want to point out something strange. There is no booklet, but all the kind of caution stuff in that... Is on the back of the cover. I don't know. That just seems so weird to me. But, um, shocking. Namco acknowledged the anniversary for us Western people. <gasps> really? They care. I don't know. Now, I, I know I always bitch on Namco a lot. Um, well, not much lately, but I always bring up my past issue with them and I have to say Namco you you with the announcement of the uh, sequel to this Tales game I have to say Namco you've done a lovely job I haven't heard you bitch at all I haven't heard you blame the fans you've been giving us a number of Japanese games that you in the past back I mean basically the PS1 PS2 era I was really just oh. I mean the PS1 age I was nice Tales fan this is like as time went into the PS2 era, it just seemed kind of dead. They would just be bitching about the sales and stuff. Like, I'm sorry the sales were disappointing. Okay, I, I can get that. But you don't go and say, Oh, you fans, you didn't buy enough copies, so fuck you. You don't get the next game. That That's not what you do. It's not what you do. You should never do that to your fan base. Haters, yeah. Fan base, no. Um, I don't remember if I've showed this. I might have showed. I don't remember. Uh, I got Dragon's Crown. I did a full suppressions recording of Dragon's Crown. I'm not sure if it's going to be out before this. Um, and uh, I will be going over some things. Uh, people, obviously. Uh, the booklet is actually in color, uh, which is kind of nice. Especially considering a lot of companies have been doing black and white booklets. So that's actually very nice, though. 
Uh, I have been very enjoying Dragon's Crown, and uh, look forward to trying to do a Let's Play that. Um, here's something I probably will never do a Let's Play of, because uh, it's just deemed impossible, because it's a music game. And I know some people, actually someone on my PlayStation Network, you know, you're actually all way calm. I popped it in, and they immediately messaged me like, no, no, like, Look, 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 I'm like music games. I have the, uh, Oidon games on the DS here, you know, uh, let's see if I can find, um, yeah, you know, that, I, I love, I love a lot of music games. I, I, I'm a big music, uh, I'm not very good at a lot of music games, but I like them. So, uh, and, of course, I can see, uh, Sega probably limited a number of these, so, yeah, Diva Project F. Um, Vocaloids, uh, Voca, Vocaloids. Um, if you never heard of these things, they're music programs of singles, uh, virtual singles. Um, they've had, uh, multiple games in Japan, uh, with a lot of songs and options and that. I've played a little of it. Um, I wanted to see if that one song with the, the little, um, um, leak leak thing, you know, the thing Fallfetch uses in Pokemon, you know, it's like, da -ba, da -ba, da -ba, da -ba. it's like, I love that song, <laughs> but I put you all that, I do have the code, the booklet is insulting, it's not even worth looking at, it's just a thin piece of paper, nothing worth looking at though, now, <clears throat> something Aaron got me into, um, I, my only experience with this series, prior to this was I believe either two or three back when I was in high school and it didn't really pique my interest. Um, he did a, uh, I believe it's referred to as a hot seat game of this on his PC and I went out and bought Sid Meier Civilization 5. This is actually pretty fun and it kind of surprised me to be honest because I wasn't really surprised. Well, it's not like I, you know, I like strategy games, but, you know, I, I, I'm not going to lie and say, like, every single strategy game is for me. Really, really long strategy games. Oh, really, not the kind of strategy games I like. Like, I can put 30 minutes into, like, a battle or something, but if, like, one, one game's, like, five hours, like, oh my goodness, I... It's too long for me, to be honest. But, you know, there's something about Civilization V that got me really into it. And sometimes that's how I get into some series. I'll, this one will get me into it, and I'll go back, and for some reason it won't bother me as much. So maybe I'll go backwards in time with the Civilization series and give some of those a try. But uh, that one I've been enjoying. I have not done a full impressions on it, but I think I got enough idea to do one. Now, uh, here's something I'm a little disappointed on. Um, I, I do have quite a bit from Goodwill in the uh, Good Samaritan store. And, um, you know, when you buy used PC games, you have to be careful because, you know, sometimes you might not be able to get work. I mean, when it's a really old PC title, that's not usually a problem. More modern ones, you know, or iffy. So I got this game called Galactic Civilizations 2, which has all these expansions to the game and everything. And it was by the company that did Demigod. And I remember there was like an interview thing they did with Demigod saying that it was a uh, DRM free and stuff. So I thought I'd take a chance. Um, inside, it just has a paper advertising their games and a fold-out thing for the keyboard. Sadly, uh, Aaron looked at it and he's like, oh, this is interesting. Um, which, to be honest, doesn't really surprise me. Um, I got to just try I mean, they, they were doing a, another sale, each one for a dollar. So, you know, it was a dollar to see if it might have been uh, working. And sadly, it does have a code thing and... To my understanding, their stance on DRM free is no longer. Um, uh, they use some system called Goo, which is their own personal DRM. Um, for my read, though, it's not horrible, though. Um, it just links the game to, like, your email and then allows you to install it on whatever you want. So, um, 
this might not be completely worthless, um, but in its current form, yeah, it's not really doing me much good. So, bit of a shame there. So, uh, some old, old, old PC games here. Oh my goodness, we got a lot of old PC games to go through. Ugh, man. Get all these up. Lots and lots of old PC games here. Okay. Uh, Space Quest series. Um, actually, you know that I think of it, I might have always showed this too. If I didn't, there's this. I, I have made a new area for games I get now. See, back in my old apartment, I did have a Pacific Space for games that I just bought and haven't shown yet. And I haven't done that at this house yet. I know I'm long overdue that. Why? Right? You've been here for months and you haven't done that yet? So uh, I'm doing that now. So uh, hopefully I won't have any more of these problems trying to remember what the hell I have and haven't shown. So uh, Space Quest uh, Collection Series, it has one through six. And if I remember quickly, I think there's eight Space Quest games. So that's a pretty nice uh, collection of them. King's Quest, the point, uh, Princessless Bride, the Princeless, is that Prince or Prince, yeah, Princeless Bride, yeah, um, it does not say that it's, um, I believe this is 7, I looked up, I was like, oh, this might be King's Quest 1, because it has no number, but I think it was 7. I looked it up, it's definitely not King's Quest 1, because that was like Quest for the Crown. Um, so, but uh, there was a CD copy of that I found, got that for a dollar. Um, here's a really interesting game. I couldn't find a whole lot shit about this, but it's called uh, Messiah, and it's by Interplay. Apparently you play an angel named Bob, who's basically capable of doing almost nothing. But he can possess people, so you use that so you can do stuff. So as, as your angel form, you're fragile as hell. Um, I don't even know if it'll work on my computer. You know, getting old computer games has their ups and downs. And I got King's Quest VI, Hail Today, Gone Tomorrow as a CD. Which um, people may remember, I actually have a box copy of the discs in that. So I will probably actually keep this in that box as a CD form of the of it. Now this, I have no idea what it is. Um, it's by Interplay and I've never heard of it and I could not find footage of it on my phone while I was there and I've still, I've still yet to not look it up. Um, it has like a mech thing on the CD of that, and it's two discs, so uh, I I don't even know what it is, but I, I basically bought it just because it was uh, into Intel, so um, I need to look that up to see what that is exactly. Um, here's something. I only have the first game of this, but uh, this seemed like a nice deal because it's two other games with that. Mist. You get... Missed one, which is the Masterpiece Edition, which is the one I have. The Women, and Mystery Exiled. So, uh, that's pretty nice. Uh, that's a three-part thing there, so that's, that's a pretty nice uh, catch there, to be honest. Um, I got a copy of Thief, and it's apparently popped out of its middle thing. Uh, the Dark Project. I do not know... If it needs a code, uh, if it does, then I'm probably screwed on that. Now, um, I'm going to cover this up. I don't think it's going to... Well, actually, I don't think it's going to matter at all, actually, because... Um, yeah, it's not going to matter at all, because I already tried it on Steam, so... There's, there shouldn't be any real worry of care of that. I found a copy of Blue Shift, which... Uh, Last time I checked, wasn't on Steam, but apparently now it is available on Steam. So, uh, but Blue Shift uh, is a s expansion thing, like an expanded story on Half Life One, where you take place as the security guard. Um, uh, what was his name? Barney, I think it was, uh, who also appears in uh, Half Life Two. Um, 
I hope I've read about the Steam version that's now available. I hear it has some bugs. So if this actually can work on any of my computers, this would probably be a superior version to play because I hear the Steam version does have some iffy bugs. Now, uh, people already know I've been playing the Organ Trail on the PC, so I had to obviously find the Organ Trail somewhere randomly. Um, I found this at Goodwill. I think it was only two bucks, I believe. It's the third edition. Um, and I was like, eh, why not? I haven't played the Oregon Trail in 500 years. Sadly, I can't get this to work on my computer. Uh, it says, like, it's, um, I can't remember what, what it says specifically. It says some error message with that, which is really weird. So, that's a bit of a shame. I'll, I'll have to find a workaround for that. Now, uh, <clears throat> getting through a lot more, some PSP pickups, I got uh, Legend of Heroes 2, The Prophecy of the Moonlight Witch, for $3 at a, um, at a pawn shop, along with um, Trails in the Sky, which I own the limited edition of that, so that went to the chest of gifts in the future. And uh, the other game I'll show you, uh, they were all 3 bucks. Which, uh, for this and t uh, Trails Through the Sky is a great deal. Uh, great deal. I mean, they're all at least 10 bucks at most. Trails in the Sky thinks at least 20 so that that's very nice. Uh, it's all in nice condition. It has its book. It's in color. It has Katamari Damashi advertisement on the back. Who, who wouldn't want that? The only thing that's horrible is there's a little sticker with number, but I can get that off. I just haven't done it yet. Um... Oh yeah, and see, there's three dollars stickle there. Oh, I haven't gotten that off. Uh, I haven't tried this yet, um, but I'll, I'll give it a wall. Give it a wall. You know, it's on the list now. Uh, sadly, this doesn't have its original case in any form. You'll see what I mean. It sadly features the horrifying GameStop shit, like. Who designed this shit anyway? It's like, oh yeah, we need like some secret agent guy who's like fucking huge jaw and some fucking ugly hussy that's a whip off of Kim Possible on Disney and um, this fucking weirdo here who apparently thinks video games are food and look at this motherfucker wearing a GameStop chain. Oh man. And oh look, you get to save 10% off used game. Whee! But yeah, uh, this is Dungeon Explore, which was published by Konami. And um, the reason I said it in any form is because apparently it doesn't even have its UMD case originally. Uh, to my understanding, all these clear cases are uh, replacement cases in case you somehow fucked up your case. So, I don't have anything original, but it was $3, so I was like, sure, why not? It's still at least 10 bucks on Amazon. Uh, I also got a copy of Second Sight. Uh, it, it's, I always heard it was a very interesting game. Um, I never got, I, you know, I'm not usually uh, into a whole lot of uh, shooter games. But it's supposed to be a weird mechanic where you, like, possess bodies and shit. So, I guess you could say it's kind of like that <laughs> Maasai thing. Now, two very recent pickups is Virtual Quest, which um, was not highly praised when it came out. Uh, I never got to play it. I actually won it way back when it first came out, but I just never got to it. Um, it has its original original uh, booklet. There's a receipt I have. The original booklet and disc and that's in pretty good, dish, uh, could be pretty good condition. And then, here's something uh, Wu of Clan the Grey Wolf actually did kind of recently, which, damn it, man, get some videos out there. You haven't done anything for ages, man. We need more Clan the Grey Wolf. It's just redeemed down the podcast. But anyway, one of the more uh, later videos when they talked about some was Yoshi Safari, which is a light gun game, and I got for two ninety nine. Uh, actually, I got it for free, actually. I bought Virtual Quest. It was a buy one, get one free thing at the, uh, local game store here. Um, so, uh, 
Yeah, I actually got this for free. Well, I got a virtual file for five bucks for four nine nine. So, uh, Yoshi Savai, yay! <laughs> it's some kind of weird light gun where Mario's riding Yoshi wielding a gun. Bet you never saw that. You know, why doesn't anyone use that those sprites any? You know, people make all these GTA Mario fan videos. I don't think I've ever seen anyone use any of the sprites here. You got Mario holding a bazooka-like gun here, you know. Perfect usage for these kind of fan art videos. And then lastly, I've saved this for last because a fan had donated this to me. I've never received something from somebody on YouTube. So this is a very special moment to me. And your star fame will enter here somewhere on the screen. And I will hopefully make it a link to your channel because at least that should be fair. Now I already own the game he gave me but on the Xbox 360. And I told him this and he still wanted to give it to me and it's a special limited version so it's still very nice. Um, I actually showed a little of it off in the Oregon Trail giveaway video I did. And that was the Zombrax pin that comes with it. Which uh, probably highly hints at what it is. Uh, it is a special limited edition version of uh, Dead Rising 2. Now, uh, let me show this swinge thing. It's very nice. Um, it has like blue ink in it, it looks like. Um, the top part, you just push it down like a needle and the pin comes out. Uh, it took me a second to realize that you have to hit this to retract it out. It's kind of weird like that. I don't know why they decided to do that. Um, biggest shame I see, as far as I can tell, there's no way to unscrew it to put a new ink thing inside. Which is kind of a shame because um, if you actually use this, then you would eventually run out ink. Um... I really hate when they do these kind of special pins that you can't open up and put new ink in. It's really a shame, but um, that's very nice. I'm sure I will use that in about every zombie-related video I ever do. Now, it is important to note, this is the PAL version, which obviously doesn't matter since there are only two PS3 games that have region locking on them. And the only one anyone really paid attention to was Persona 4 Wiener. The only other one was a Jib... Japanese exclusive online game of some caliber. Uh, I can't remember what it was called, but it, it's only in Japan. It's online, so it doesn't. It's not like something. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad game. I'm just saying um, probably nobody really knows it exists. But uh, it has a plastic sleeve, which advertises it like uh, if you'll focus like Zombax and that you can see all the European uh, waiting and stuff how they do that and uh, the game itself is in a middle middle-ish case that looks kind of like a medicine box for your pills and it has a making of disc the game disc and its book inside uh, it's very nice um, but like I said, I only have Dead Rising 2, so um, it's not that I don't appreciate this. This is very nice, and it will definitely I, I will definitely put on my uh, shelf. Which um, if you if you ever noticed in any videos where I move the camera, I have a shelf on my wall over here. I'm trying to actually convert that stuff onto a shelf over here to display nice or uh, limited edition stuff. And I would definitely keep that. Actually, uh, I think, uh, you know, if you actually want me to do a Let's Play on Dead Rising 2, um, I, I'm willing to consider that. I mean, it's only fair you gave me a free game, you know. <laughs> um, I mean, I originally actually even won the PS3 uh, version of Dead Rising 2, but uh, the only reason I actually got the 360 version was because of the uh, DLC for it. Uh, which um, then I decided to wait to see if they made a limited version, a limited edition, or game of the year, or something that would have that content on it, and they never did that. So I'm probably actually going to be buying Case West here soon because um, sadly it seems like it's the only way that's going to happen. It's still a 360 exclusive. I was kind of hoping they'd like jump over the PSN or some. Oh, pardon me. Got the hiccups though. 
So um, this is very nice. I'm sure your your syringe pin will appear in many many zombie videos to come. And I thank you very much. You're a great viewer. I I am really shocked you wanted to send me this from Europe, which I hear is expensive to do in the first place. And it came like incredibly fast, like really freaking fast. Like I could only imagine that costed a lot of freaking money. And you didn't put a return address on it, which I had no plans to show the address on there. That's that's kind of a a silent YouTube rule to not show people's addresses on mail stuff you got. You know, it's kind of respectful, you know. But, um, you you know, you took a risk that this might not even came, come back to you if it got lost in the mail, which I've I've had games get lost. Like, I bought stuff off eBay. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I talked about this time where I got a bundle of loose uh, Japanese Super Nintendo games and I never got them. They got lost in the mail and the guy was like, well, you're screwed. And that was awful. Um, thank you very, thank you very much. I really, really do like the game. Uh, I love the Dead Rising series. It still makes me sad that 3 is exclusive on the Xbox One. I know I said several negative things about Dead Rising 3 in my thoughts of the trailer and stuff and I mean that's mostly like theorizing and just on visual like you know obviously I have to play the game to really give a good impression on it and you know I, I just said things that I found concerning visually and stuff you know it's not like oh the game sucks now I try I'm hoping they'll turn out good. Um, several new screenshots in there have shown that they are all going to keep some of the goofiness in. Like, um, when I did that video, I had not seen some of these screenshots. But um, I saw one and I actually used it as a part of the, uh, you know, the video thing where it shows some of the zombies with the goofy masks and shit. So it's, it's nice to see they are going to keep some of that in. But I still think it it is really toning down the wacky colorness to a very brown and gray kind of thing. So, but anyway, we are digressing from. Thank you very much for the kind gift. I hope it was not expensive at all. Anything to send it to me, because I would just feel awful then. Thank you very much. You're awesome, viewer. And you have the honor of being the first person, if, if anyone can even consider that honor. Ten years later, somebody leaves a comment saying that is not an honor. Called it. Anyway, um, it, you know, thank you. I, I really don't know what to say. It's something you gave me free. And you say I make great content. That thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's really nice of you. You're a very nice person to talk to on Skype, by the way. So anyway, <clears throat> that's all my new pickups. That's a lot of stuff, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Um, anything else to talk about? Hmm. Uh, I don't think there's really anything in general off the top of my head to talk. Oh yes, Whelms Reborn. I've actually gotten a few people asking me, do I play and to play Whelms Reborn? Yes, I, I knew there was something in the back of my head. Um, not currently. I mean, look, look, look at my respects. I'm not saying 14 sucks, and I'm not saying Whelms of Reborn sucks. What I'm saying is, I bought the PC copy, and it didn't work on my old computer. So I had to hold it, until I got a new computer. Got a new computer, and they shut this thing down. So now, this isn't technically worthless, because as far as one viewer told me, this actually still qualifies for Realms of Reborn. So, in theory, if I pop this into my new PC and that, in theory, I should get the Whelms Reborn launcher and everything and be able to play Final Fantasy XIV Whelms Reborn. But that still disappoints me. I never got to play this. Yes, I know everyone on Earth almost said it sucked. Well, everyone who had 5 million subscribers, you know. As I always say, 
I don't really, I, you know, I don't really like to say, oh, this sucks because everyone else says it sucks. Because then I would never think Okaja Shadow King was any good. I would have never thought Gungrave on the PS2 was any good. Hell, some people, you know, say, Kai Mai Damashi sucks because it doesn't look graphically great, you know. You know, people have opinions. And they're right to their opinion, you know. You, you have a different way if you like that, so... I never get to play this, so it always lingers in my mind. Was it good? Was it bad? Or that? And I'll never know now, because it's gone. It's dead, and you can never re-experience it. And that's really a shame. Now, as for Realms Were Born, there's two reasons why I don't really want to get into that at the moment. One, it just really started, and started bad. It currently has an issue because apparently they weren't expecting so many people to get online. Apparently, people approved them wrong. Now people are having major issues getting online and apparently they've hoped online sales of digital versions. So now they'll, uh, you can only get physical versions at the moment until they fix those solver issues here. So, uh, horrible start. So it doesn't mean the game's bad or anything. And obviously, you know, there's that whole stigma with the original 14. And who knows how that's going to carry into this. And are they going to throw this one out into the trash can and start Final Fantasy 14? The redundant new Duke Nukem Forever joke. Except we actually release it, dump it, and then make a new one. Version 2.53. <laughs> I don't know. But, you know, uh, I kind of don't want to re-experience that disappointment. So, I'm basically taking it a stop, look, and consider position. And also that means more money, because I have to subscribe to an MMO, which I've been a subscriber of Final Fantasy XI since I ever bought. <laughs> I've never, ever stopped subscribing to it. Even though I take rationally long breaks. <laughs> Which, uh, actually, I've been meaning to get back to playing 11 more. Because, you know, new expansion. Um, I'm sure tons of people have figured out new stuff with the jobs and story and everything. So, I really need to get back to that. Because it also gives me content to do on my channel, too. Because, I mean, the few Final Fantasy 11 videos I did were just helping friends and random people with some bosses and things and that. So, and just... You know, showing off some stuff, you know. So, it, it actually it's something to do in the game, you know. Story progression. So anyway, and I'm sure I have nice, tons of fucking story. Like, I have all kinds of memories of Eleven, so I'm sure I, I actually have tons of shit to talk about all the time. So, <clears throat> anyway, this video is probably getting long. At the astounding 37 minutes, sheesh. You people crazy watching me this long? Go boom, 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 boom. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, I thank you for watching. I hope you found the secret Nintendo Club code in the Persona Let's Play. There's one in there. Look for it. I don't know if somebody's found it yet. And yes, that video is live. Find it. But anyway, um... What was I going to say now? Anyway, uh, thank you for viewing. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate everyone who leaves a like and stuff. And no, I'm not going to start going, Oh, leave a like, subscribe, and all that. And no, no, no. I'm just, I want to say, you know, because somebody gave me something. And you know, that's it. I appreciate everyone who leaves likes, shares videos, and anything like that. That helps. That spreads. And that helps get subscribers, which allows us all to get together and talk more about shit we love, or shit we hate, or shit we have debates about. And, you know, I I don't have any hatred of talking about... And, you know, actually, I do want to do kind of a debate video over one of my most controversial, oldest videos with some of the most views ever. But what could that possibly be? You'll have to find out then. Ah, catch me if you can!